Hey guys, so <laughs> it's just awkward starting, I can't do it, I'm like, oh. <sighs> hey guys, so I've forgotten again. <sighs> hey guys, so first of all, I have to apologise for my background because I'm in my granny's house, so I was just gonna say. And there's a lovely white wall here that I was gonna film, but there's a window here, and I realized, oh no, the light's coming here, but not here. So I have to move it to here. So there's a bit of an ugly background, but that's all right. So today, as you know, I'm gonna be testing out Elf Makeup. I've got a foundation, a concealer, and brows. So that is not a full face, I know that. But it's because I feel like with cheeks, eyes and lips, if it's not pigmented or like if it's tacky or like, it's like, I don't know, but like if it's not pigmented or just doesn't, it's not there, like it's tacky, you can like powder it, you can build up, that sort of thing. With those you can't really hide. So I'm just gonna prep my face with my own stuff. And I'm going to start with foundation. So this foundation, they didn't have my shade. Like, they didn't have the lightest shade. So I was going to get the darkest shade and put some, like, like lightning drops in it from the body shop. So, but I looked through the drawers at the bottom, you know, the ones you can pull up. And I was rummaging around. And everyone in the shop was looking at me really weirdly. And, like, right at the back, all alone, there was one left. And I got it. And I'm so happy I did. Wow, the bed just moved. <laughs> So, this looks really fancy, like, it's glass, like, frosted glass. This is just so much more fancier than, like, a tube or a plastic bottle. Like, it's frosted glass. Oh, it's coming. So, I'm going to do two pumps. It looks quite thick. I want it to be quite full coverage. Oh, I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna have to use the camera. So, wow, it is quite thick. I don't have a good skin at the moment, you know, that time of the month. Oh, it smells. I don't know if that. Don't know if that's just the room and the foundation, but it smells quite well, grannyish. But I'm at my granny's house, so maybe it's just the house. So I'm just going to get a tiny little bit more to put on the edge of my forehead. That's quite a lot more. And I'm just going to put it on my forehead and on this mask spot here. So I've got quite a lot left, but I'm going to try blending it in. The foundation, I put on two layers, oh, I put on two layers and I feel like it feels like you have nothing on in your skin and if you, it's really buildable. What I put, I think this would be better with like a denser brush, like expert face brush and like real techniques, which I do have, but I've only got this one up with me. So what I did the first time is I just put it on the same way as I'd use my Maybelline one, which is this one here. But that didn't work, so what I did is I squirted another two pumps out of my hand. I can't remember how many it was. And... And I, um... Sort of dipped my edge of the brush in it instead of putting it over my face and I concentrated first on like the inner parts of my face and then I built slowly blended it out here and I feel like that made it so much better. I feel like the coverage is quite it does it's not matte but it's not dewy, it's like in between like a satiny finish. I really like that. So overall I think this is really good if you're looking for a drugstore foundation and I'm pretty sure this is fine. Next up is concealer, so all the bits of foundation didn't cover you can use the concealer for. 
So when she was like, oh, it's three for two, go grab something else. So I grabbed a concealer because I haven't been using concealer because I feel like my foundations have been high coverage enough, but I want to stop using this high coverage foundation so it looks like a mask. Um, so I grabbed the first one I saw, that's what I'm going to say. And um, when I got home, I swatched it on my hand and it was way too dark for me, like it oxidised quite quickly. Um, the thing about this is you have to be careful, again, because it does oxidise. Oct oxidize quite quickly on your hand so like make sure to blend it on your neck so I put again body shop lightning drops in it and it's a perfect colour now but I haven't done anything else so I'm going to put this under my eyes I normally put concealer under my eyes because I feel like I don't have too bad under eye circles compared to other people or I just really don't worry about them Well, I am going to put this down my nose to highlight and on my chin and on my blemishes as well because I'm just going to put it everywhere because you know it's feeling like one of those days because you know you want to test it out properly so I think I'm going to do like this half of my face with my fingers and this half with a brush and see how it works out I like great mm -hmm. Medium coverage, I'd say, light to medium, because if you have bad under eye bags, it really won't cover them. And if, you, like, your foundation has barely covered any of, like, and you have redness, like, really shining through it, it won't cover that either. See, I just had a couple little bits. I put it off my face. I'm not sure why, but I think, personally, it works best with the brush. I've just never got into blending stuff with my fingers. I can't do it. I've tried. I just can't do it. But I feel like... This is nice, but there's better concealers out there. But if I had to, I'd probably repurchase this one again because I know it's good and it makes your under eyes look really bright. And it does quite concealer thin, like it's alright. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, like it's good, you know? It's fine, yeah, it's good. And lastly, we've got the e.l.f. Lock on Liner and Brow Queen in light brown. So you can use this as a liner if you've got black eyebrows, or you could use it like this if you wanted to, but. It's a liner and because it's a liner when I've swatched it it's so much more creamier because I've got a next one back home dropped it and it's really hard like even when I got it it was quite stiff this one is so creamy like I put my brush in it before and when you put your brush in it it sucks it in and you really need to wipe the product off oh I haven't told you the shades this is in porcelain it's oil free and it's got SPF in it this is in por um light beige which is too dark for me so I probably need porcelain but if I touch it it's so creamy and so much product comes off it is so easy to blend look at that oh my goodness I'm really excited for this one Well, I normally really struggle doing my eyebrows. This made it so much easier. They don't look great. I know, I admit it, they don't look great, but it's made them so easy. It's way more creamier than normal pomades because it's also used for an eyeliner. And it's actually, oh, I'm blown away. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is definitely probably my new staple eyebrow product. Seems like I have just run out of my old ones, so there we are. As well as this, I would say the foundation is one of my new staple foundations as well. These two, out of Elf, if you're looking for any foundation, what's it called? Eyebrow pomade. And their blushes and highlights look really nice as well. But I'd, one thing I do know about them is you have to scrape the top layer off before you get like amazing stuff out of them. This is alright. I definitely will be using it again because I don't have any concealers at the moment. But I don't know, I might try different ones. So that is Elf Makeup. Overall, I really like it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try upload more of things. I've not been uploading recently, but apart from that, go back, subscribe. Subscribe, you know, my face. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>